Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you one of the most free and perfect all-in-one AI tools perfect for text-to-image, text-to-video, and other awesome features that I don't think you've seen on some AI platforms. But before we start, do well to like, share, and subscribe. So, the name of this awesome tool is V Here, and as good as this looks, it generates awesome videos from just simple prompts. Of course, you can see some features like text to image, image to video, and the flux context. If you scroll down a bit, you'll find others like image to image, the AI image describer, and even a background remover. You can choose to explore more of this. And right over here, you'll find some awesome results depending on the feature you want to use this tool for. So let's start with the first feature right here, text to image. Under here, you can find some other sub-features like sketching, fashion design, and generating specific images. You can also find sub-features under image to image, image to video, the context editor, and other image tools on this site. Now let's start with the first one, the text to image. As you can see on this friendly interface, we have the prompt box, and right under that, we can select the rate or model we want. So let's go with a prompt like this. Meanwhile, when you click on Enhance Prompt, it helps to set your prompt in a way the tool understands. In case you're out of ideas and you want to test, you can click on this icon right here, and it shuffles to a very nice prompt. Now, right in the Model tab, you can find different grades like the Quality Model, the Pro Model, and the Max Model. So, for this project, let's just check out the Quality Model. As you can see, it generated a clean image but in an anime form. So now I tweaked my prompt a bit by adding a realistic image and then went for the pro model and clicked generate. And now this is exactly what I wanted. Don't forget, you can also select a preferred aspect ratio. And here, since we want different results, let's go for the max model. And this is what I have. Now, let's try a whole different prompt. After typing in my prompt, let's leave all the settings the way they were and then click Generate, and this was my result. As you can see, this is a very clean and realistic image. So if you want to create a realistic image, you can just add a realistic image of in your prompt so you can get results like mine. Now, let's go over to the next feature, the Image to Image Generator. First, let's upload an image. After that, in the prompt box right here, let's go with this. For the model, let's go with the Pro model, then click Generate. As you can see, it neatly added the extra details I wanted. I also tried changing the cat into a dog, and as you can see, it did a very nice job. Now, you can also see that I changed the hair color from orange to this, so yeah, you can tell that this is really perfect as an image-to-image -image generator. Now, over to the next feature, Image-to-Video. We understand Image-to-Video as converting an image into a very clean video. So for this, let's upload the image of the dog running, and after that, in the prompt box, let's go with this. Then, for the camera prompt, we can just stick with steady. For the video format, video length, and video dimension, it all depends on the model you select. Like, when you choose the quality model, you just get the minimum of 5 seconds video length, and video dimension you get to choose only 768p. For the pro model, you get to choose between 480p and 768p. And for the max model, you get up to 10 seconds video length and the video dimension at 1080p. So you choose exactly what you want. But for me, I went for the pro model and then clicked generate this is my result. As you can see, the motion is realistic and every single movement is on point. Let's try another image of the lady and a cat. For this, I let the tool generate a prompt both for the basic image prompt and camera prompt. I selected the perfect model and clicked Generate. This was my result. Now, you can check out other features right here, and I bet you would really enjoy them. If you want to use this tool more often for generations, let's check out the pricing list. You can see here that this doesn't really cost much, and sure, you can use this tool to create videos that can get you monetized on platforms I'll talk about in my next video. So, stay updated so you won't miss that. 
And with this, I have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And if this was really helpful, do well to like, subscribe, and share.